currently will say a few words that will take you across the threshold of your life. And things between you will never be quite the same. It's time. It's time? All right. Yes, let's get yeah, line up. Get in there. Who's going in? Brandon and Tracy come out to be joined together in marriage, and if there is anyone who can show just cause why they may not lawfully be joined together, let them speak now or forever hold their peace. Look at one another and remember this moment in time. Before this moment, you have been many things to one another, acquaintance, friend, companion, lover, dancing partner, even teacher for you have learned so much from one another in the past few years. After today, you shall say to the world, this is my husband, this is my wife. So Brandon, will you take this woman to be your wedded wife? Will you love her, comfort her, keep her in sickness and in health, and forsaking all others, keep on to her, so long as you both shall live? If so, it's your I will. I will. Will you really do this? <laughs> <laughs> Tracy, will you take this man to be your wedded husband? Will you love her, love him, comfort him, <laughs> keep him in sickness and in health, and forsaking all others, keep on to him so long as you both shall live? If so, answer I will. I will. Will you really do this? first binding is made. You share in each other's pain and, and seek to ease it? If so, answer we will. And so the binding is made. Will you share the burdens of each so that your spirits may grow in this union? If so, answer we will. We will. And so the binding is made. Will you share each other's laughter and look for the brightness in life and the positive in each other? If so, answer it. We will. Tracy and Brandon, as your hands are bound together now, your lives and spirits are joined in a union of love and trust. Above you are the stars, and below you is the earth. Like the stars, your love should be a constant source of light, and like the earth, a firm foundation from which to grow. Brandon, I'll ask you to repeat after me. I, Brandon, take thee, Tracy. I, Brandon, take thee, Tracy. To be my wedded wife. To be my wedded wife. To share in all my adventures. To share in all my adventures. Every wine tasting. Every wine tasting. I promise to be your partner in all things. I promise to be your partner in all things. On good days and bad. On good days and bad. Always. Always. <laughs> Tracy, your turn. I, Tracy, take thee, Brandon, to be my wedded husband, to share in all my adventures, every Sunday morning breakfast, every road trip, every wine tasting. I promise to be your partner in all things, on good days and bad. Always. The wedding ring is a sign of love and faithfulness, and Brandon, do you have a ring to offer Tracy as a token of your love and faith? Mm -hmm. 
And Tracy, do you accept this ring? While placing the ring on her finger, I'll ask yeah. you to repeat after me. Receive this ring, Receive this ring. as a pledge and token of my love and faith. And Tracy, do you have a ring to offer Brandon as a token of your love and faith? And Brandon, do you accept this ring? I do. And we'll do the same. We'll be repeating after you. Receive this ring. As a pledge and token, as a pledge and token of my love and faith. Of my love and faith. I'll ask you to join hands. Love is patient and kind. Love is not jealous or conceited or proud or provoked. Love does not keep a record of wrongs. Love is not happy with evil, but it pleases with the truth. Love never gives up. Its faith and its patience never fail. And I hope that all love and happiness the two of you share this day will be with both of you forever and ever. For as much as Brandon and Tracy have consented together in marriage, and have given and pledged your love, have declared the same by the joining of hands, I do, by the virtue of authority vested in me by the laws of the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania, pronounce that you are now husband and wife. May the force be with you. <laughs> 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 And now, ladies and gentlemen, let me introduce you to Mr. and Mrs. Tracy Fetterman. for the uh, newlyweds? Okay, to the bride and groom, my son. Three rules of marriage. Never go to bed angry. Mm -hmm. Don't tell the person what, other person what to do. Mm -hmm. And wing the rest. Just wing it, just wing it. All right. What's the last one? Wing the rest. Just wing it. Yeah, give us some advice for the new Marley, married couple. I mean, you're pro at this, so. Yeah, I've been married se almost six, seven years now. Yeah, any advice? So my advice would be respect each other. That's the biggest thing I can say. Just after a while, you're, you might dismiss, be dismissive or whatever, but just respect each other. Time to go now, way back in history. Now. You can do the advice now. Thanks. I got Mike's permission. So, any advice for the new couple, married couple? As a matter of fact, I do. Patience. Please, my is because regardless of what they can agree or disagree with, ultimately, at the end of the day, you must take yourself and reflect upon the other person when they are coming. Only then can you achieve. Just do it! <laughs> <laughs>
plates, maybe. Someone needs to get them a plate to put it on. Feed each other! Do it! Do it! Do it! <laughs> Cram it in there.